Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm back with another one of the amazing universities. Well, this time it's UK University, University of Manchester. Well, before I begin this video, I have something very interesting to share with you. I have started my podcast, Living Extraordinary, where I talk about strategies and tools to build an extraordinary life, irrespective of where you are in life. Make sure to check out my podcast videos and help me grow the show so more people can live a best life, a life they always want to live. So make sure to watch these videos on Living Extraordinary on this channel. Also, make sure to get your profile evaluated using the most amazing profile assessment that I've created for you and it is completely free to use. Just head to the link mentioned in the description box and get your profile evaluated for free. For this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and will decode the academic, social and financial aspects of the university with my star ratings. And then I will offer you the most important tips and strategies to get into this university. Make sure to listen closely as I'll be sharing the most amazing strategies to get into this university. So let's hit it up for University of Manchester. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. University of Manchester is a public research university in Manchester, England. Technically, U Manchester was established in 1824 and has been through many renamings but it got its name as we know it's today is 2004. The University of Manchester is the third largest university in the UK following the Open University and University College London. University of Manchester is a member of the Russell Group, the N8 Group and the Worldwide Universities Research Association and has had 25 Nobel laureates amongst its past and present students and staff, the fourth highest number of any single university in the United Kingdom. The main campus is located in Manchester and the city of Manchester is perfect for students. It is not only ranked as one of the best cities to live in the UK, but it is also very affordable in comparison. The centre of Manchester is vibrant and lively with a diverse food and thriving nightlife and inspiring cultural centres. Manchester is technically not a campus university as we normally call campuses. It is centrally located in the city of Manchester and its buildings are integrated into the city with non-university buildings and major roads between. It has two main sites called North Campus and South Campus. The architecture is a mix of new and old buildings with state-of-the-art facilities. All colleges at the campus are equipped with state-of-the-art facilities for sure. The most popular majors at University of Manchester include Arts and Humanities, Chemistry, Business, Medicine, Physics, Immunology, Engineering, Biochemistry, Literature and Economics. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the rankings, but it is ranked number 28 on QS World University Rankings. University of Manchester is consistently placed in 100 global schools for some of the famous courses. All right, now let's move on to our next section, talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. <music> Academics at U Manchester is great. The University of Manchester offers more courses than any other university in the UK, along with a vast amount of expertise at postgraduate level as well. It offers over 1000 degrees and programs across humanities, business, science and engineering subject areas. These programs include foundation courses, bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhDs and even MBAs. U Manchester is mostly known for its medicine courses as well and established biology and science branches including physics, chemistry, immunology and biochemistry are very popular, but is equally competitive and established engineering and business programs as well. University of Manchester is also a leading college in research and development. At the university, a wide range of high quality research is conducted that is rivaled by very few other universities according to the research excellence framework. These opportunities are available for any student who is interested in such research opportunities. If you're interested in starting a business in the UK, the Masood Entrepreneurship Center offers resources and support for student-led startups. The facilities are made available to students to help excel in their respective fields, which is great. The University of Manchester attracts international students from 160 countries around the world, which is huge. It also offers many study abroad programs where students can spend a semester or a year abroad in universities like Erasmus and many other European colleges. The faculty is extremely talented and true to their role. The University of Manchester, inclusive of its predecessor institutions, has 25 Nobel laureates among its past and present students and staff, the fourth highest number of any single university in the United Kingdom. The class size at the university are generally small enough to ensure that students have access to equipment and enough time to talk to their lecturers. 
It is about 20 to 50 for most classes. In very few entry level core courses, the classes go up in number. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would like to rate University of Manchester with five stars on academic difficulty and quality level, where five is the highest level. Well, after academic fit, let's move to social fit. Social life in University of Manchester is good. It offers plenty of extracurricular activities and opportunities for development. The students' union is the largest in the UK with more than 480 different clubs and societies. There is also a specific international society where you can make friends from all over the world. If you are, a, if you are an international student, you can go on trips around the UK and learn about different cultures as well. You'll find a vast number of ways to keep yourself busy and make friends on campus and in halls. Meanwhile, the cosmopolitan attractions of one of the UK's most famous cities are never more than a short bus ride away. U Manchester has 40,000 students with about 26,000 are undergrad and remaining as PGs and PhDs. The university has about 25% of student body as international students, which is also highest in the UK. Housing is good enough for most students. There is plenty of choice for accommodation in Manchester. The university offers plenty of different halls in either the city, Victoria Park or Fallowfield. These three areas vary in distance from the university and each has their own distinctive atmosphere. It makes it easy to choose the best places to suit you. Manchester also offers both catered and self-catered accommodation, private or shared bathrooms as well. And yes, quality of food is amazing as well and its variety is huge. And with local shops and markets close to the campus, it's easy for you to buy ingredients that you would use at home. Vegetarian and kosher foods are affordable and widely available. Campus has a lot of food places to choose from as well. The food quality is good and a lot of off-campus food beverage options are available as well. Now, Manchester is big on sports. The sports and well-being facilities are extensive, including the Amitad Sports Centre in Fallowfield with outdoor pitches, indoor halls and fitness suite, the Manchester Aquatic Centre and Sudgan Sports Centre in the city and the well-being rooms on campus. So it's pretty amazing. U Manchester offers competitive academics and good social life. I would like to give it four stars out of five on quality of life at Manchester. Well, now let's look at the financial fit. <music> University of Manchester falls in affordable school category. The expenditure is about 20 to 25,000 pounds in annual tuition expenses without scholarships. Some clinical years for medicine and dentistry course can go up to anything 50,000 pounds annually and even more. Housing and dining may fall in about 10 to 13,000 pounds range at the most. As far as financially it is concerned, the university has a lot of scholarship options. Merit scholarships averaging about 2,000 to 5,000 pounds. And international students are also eligible for merit scholarships, which is amazing. So I would like to give it four stars out of five on financial fit. After exploring the fit, let's move to the most curious section on how to triple your chances on getting admission to University of Manchester with my special tips and strategies. The areas I'm going to share come from my decade-long experience working with students for current and college admission. Well, as far as admissions are concerned, U Manchester is more focused on the overall profile of the student, but keeping the focus more towards the academic profile and grades. Yes, the acceptance rate last year was 70% overall, but still very selective for international students in their evaluation process. So for your application to be successful, you will need to satisfy the university's general entry requirement, as well as the requirements of your chosen course. Many of the postgraduate courses are evaluated for foreign degrees equivalency. So make sure you can get that confirmation on that before applying for your course. For admission to Manchester, academic grades are probably the most important. For UG admission, you need to have around 34 to 38 IB points, around 80 to 95%, three A level or a GPA of above 3.5. For PG, a GPA of about seven and above is good. Some of the candidates that are not able to make it directly are sometimes given conditional admission with foundation courses or pathways to become eligible for the course. Do your thorough research before starting the application process of whether you qualify for direct admission or not. Most of the courses do not require any SAT, ACT for undergrad, but for postgraduates, they still need GRE and GMAT depending upon the course. Now, Manchester also requires all international students to present English proficiency. And I would recommend taking IELTS UKVI as it is more recognized and accepted along with colleges in the UK. You will need an IELTS score of between six to seven for most programs. Now, University of Manchester welcomes all students from all walks of life. So I would recommend you to be authentic and honest in your application. Whether you are curious, creative, innovative, committed to making an impact, becoming a pioneer or simply being yourself. There's a place for you at Manchester. 
Now, as for deadlines for admissions to undergraduate program, Manchester offers one deadline in January through UCAS portal, but applications are accepted from September onwards. All the documentation is submitted separately to the university through their own portals. For all postgraduate courses, they have individual department deadlines with either one or two deadlines between September to April every year. And most of the programs go with the rolling deadlines too. Well, in the end, to conclude, if you are curious, creative, innovative, committed to making an impact, becoming a pioneer or simply being yourself, there is a place for everyone at Manchester and this could be a perfect school for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. And make sure to watch my podcast videos of Living Extraordinary. Also, remember to complete your profile evaluation as discussed in the beginning of the video and get your personalized report for free. In fact, a lot of students and parents tell me that the report is so good they would have paid for it. So yeah, it's one tool that will help you in your college admission journey. And it's absolutely free for you. And again, I'm here for you to support you on this beautiful journey. If you need any assistance, me and my team are here to help. And also make sure to watch this video after this one. Thank you once again, and I'll be back with another amazing video. Till then, this is Shreed signing off. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.